lot of people need extra places to sleep. The holidays are coming, and so they think about, hey, I've always uh, wanted to get a sleeper sofa. Maybe that's the best way to get an extra place to sleep. The problem is, a lot of times in the past, people have had a bad feeling about sleeper sofas because they experienced a bad uh, night's sleep on one of them or uh, just in general they just didn't like the experience they had on a sleeper sofa at one time. So I'm here today to help educate and clear that up that you can get a nice sleeper sofa. It can look gorgeous in the rooms, 365 a year, but also when you need out of town guests at a place to sleep, they're not going to be hating you and waking up the next morning with a backache. Hi, I'm Doug Miller. I'm at Furniture Fair. I've uh, been doing furniture for about 28 years. Wanted to talk to you today about sleeper sofas and in general what a sleeper sofa is and can be. Sleeper sofas have in the past had a bad rap. So through this video, hopefully I can clear up some misconceptions that people have about sleeper sofas. A lot of times people think they're going to not be stylish, they're, they're going to be unattractive. Um, they think that maybe it only comes in one size. Uh, a lot of times they think that they're uncomfortable to sleep in as well as sit on. A lot of times on sleeper sofas, they're also considered a niche item, kind of a only certain people are gonna want them or need them. And finally, I think people also think that sometimes a sleeper sofa is just not made well. So when I first started selling sleeper sofas, a lot of them were not attractive at all. They usually had just a, a blob plain arm, they usually didn't have a very attractive back, the fabrics were usually not, they were just drab, and nowadays the styles of sleeper sofas, uh, we have several companies where that we can order just about any style and fabric that you want and then implement a sleeper sofa into it and like I said nobody's going to know there's a sleeper sofa in there because it's going to look so stylish. So there's uh, all kinds of different uh, styles and uh, configurations on sleeper sofas. What I mean by that is you can actually put sleeper sofas into sectionals. There's a part in most sectionals where you can, hey, this part can be a sleeper sofa. There's also sofas that have a chaise on the end, and some of, them, some of them even have a sliding chaise, which means you slide the ottoman over, flip the cushion, and you'll be able to make it uh, into a chaise on either side. But also, by the way, inside is the queen size sleeper that you can pull out when you do have guests. And the most commonly found uh, sleeper sofas in a home are usually the queen size. And that's only because I think a lot of times people walk by and they don't know that it comes in other sizes. Also, they feel like it's a sleeper sofa. So the sofa size is gonna be a queen. And I think the misconception arrives because they go somewhere and they sleep on one and it usually was a full or a queen. So they had no idea that you could get a chair sized um, or a chair and a half sized uh, piece of furniture that also has a twin size mattress in it. People today still come in and say, you know, do they come in different sizes? And they do. They come in twin, full, or queen, and uh, we can help you on either one. So sleeper sofas have also been known to be so uncomfortable to sit on and to sleep on. A lot of times people will not replace a sleeper sofa because it's usually in that room that they don't have to be embarrassed about when their friends come over because it's not in the main living area. And so a lot of times people have, that have slept on a sleeper sofa or at a... Uh, a beach house somewhere, the sleeper sofas weren't that nice. When I first started selling sleeper sofas a long time ago, they really only made one way and they weren't very comfortable and the mattresses inside weren't very nice because they had to be able to be thin enough to fold up and the spring system had to be such that you could fold it up and not damage it, putting it away. Um, and so there's only so much they could do. I think that uh, no sleeper sofa is ever going to sleep um, like a real mattress. Uh, nine inches or 13 inches thick. Uh, you're never gonna be able to fold it up and get it inside the, the bed. Having said that though, for the technology has come so far that they have nice memory foam mattresses that are gonna be as good as you can sleep and still be on a sleeper sofa. I have grandkids um, and I know a lot of people have kids that they get every other weekend or something like that. And that is a nice feature now that instead of having to buy an extra room for your house, um, having a mattress inside of a sleeper sofa that is nice enough to sleep on uh, very regularly and still hold up is a good option. So when I first started in the business, people would sleep on a sleeper sofa and everybody felt the bar and, and they didn't sleep nice and they woke up with a backache and all that kind of stuff. They're still making uh, sleeper sofas pretty much the same. There's only so many ways you can make a mechanism that folds up and, and goes back inside the sofa. 
but they've gotten so much better on the materials they use inside of that uh, as far as the mechanism and the supports and the, the way they recess the bar now and then they also are doing better on this mattresses like i said and of course the cushioning that you sit on 365 a year uh, that you're actually sitting down on that's going to sit a lot nicer than the normal sleeper sofa is used to so on sleeper sofas the build quality has come a long way uh, over the past 20 something years when you pull a sleeper sofa out you're going to see it's got a tubing that's going to be metal but it's going to hold up it's not going to have all kinds of sharp edges they do recess the support bar that goes underneath uh, they're using more springs on what i call the trampoline material that's underneath for your mattress to sit on the way they build them nowadays it just it's it's way better because they've they've learned from their mistakes in the past like all industries so in my eyes, I do not believe uh, that a sleeper sofa is a niche item because like I said, everybody can benefit from it. I mean, you just never know when the need's gonna arise. And it's so funny, usually when people come in looking for a sleeper sofa, the need arose and they didn't have an answer for it. Um, and they had to make do with a guest on a sofa with a, you know, a pillow and a sheet and they didn't sleep very nice. So a lot of times they'll be putting a sleeper sofa in that guest bedroom or that den, or some people want an, uh, a, an extra bed in their office if they work too much like I do. Uh, sometimes they might want to have a, a, a place where they can take a nap if they wanted to and they only have so much room in that room a lot of times and so that's why when they think oh i can only buy a queen uh, no you can get a full or a, maybe even a twin a chair and a half that wouldn't take up a lot of room in your office or spare bedroom but you still have a place to sleep for an extra guest oh, i don't think it's a niche item at all i think uh, everybody that owns a home or an apartment it can can benefit from a, a sleeper sofa on sleeper sofas, there's all different price ranges and, and price levels, and of course that's going to go into you know how nice the mattress is inside the the sleeper sofa and, and what you can do to the outside fabric. Those two things probably play the most part in in what the cost of your sleeper sofa is going to be. Um, we do have some that start all the way down to you know 5.99 price range and still get a sleeper sofa. Is it going to sleep like the one that's $1,500? No. What I try to tell people is when you don't have to buy an extra room in your house and put a bedroom suit in there. You just saved a lot of money to pay for a sleeper sofa and then some. So a lot of people, when they th talk about, oh, I don't want to spend $1,500 for a sleeper sofa, I try to remind them that how much money they're saving by not having to have a separate bedroom suit with a separate mattress. Um, now you can get a stylish uh, sofa that's also going to have a place to sleep for your guests and they're not gonna be uncomfortable. So if you're interested in uh, learning more about the good, better, best uh, versions of sleeper sofas, uh, please check out our video where it goes into uh, why certain sleeper sofas are gonna cost more than others and, and what the benefits of those uh, that increased price range would be. There is some different ways that you can um, try to figure out what you may want or need in a sleeper sofa. Uh, one of the ways you can browse our website, uh, we have plenty of options on our website as far as sleeper sofas. Uh, you can also come in and speak to uh, me or any other sales associate and we'll be able to show you uh, how a sleeper sofa works and which ones can be a sleeper sofa because a lot of times you'll walk right by them in our showroom and you won't know which ones are and which ones can't be. Um, and then uh, lastly, you can also just schedule an appointment and when you come in, we'll be more than glad to show you uh, what we have available to you. Mm -hmm.